Welcome to week one of the Sew Along, and this is part two of six. The first part was the introduction. And each one, each week, these are going to be the same. This is going to be one sheet of information that you have. Keep it nice and simple. I'll always repeat the, your resources here that you can click on to go find the YouTube channel, the blog, and the Facebook group. I'll also have a layout of the current blocks, current and previous blocks. So here's block one, and you started that with the introduction, and now we, we have two, three, four, and five. And these are how I am going to lay them out in the quilt. You don't have to do them this way. You can wait till all the blocks are done or whatever you're comfortable with. But my idea was to, as we finish a row, to piece the row, including the sashing and cornerstones, and I'll show you that in just a minute. And then here are the bigger pictures of our new blocks, and I'm including block one just because we haven't really gone over it yet. So block one, two, three, four, and five. And these just show the positions of the half square triangles when you put your blocks together. And these little frames are around each block too as well. And then the bottom will show what's coming up next, what's coming in the following weeks. So now let's look at the blocks. This is block one. And as I said, block one is in the very top corner right here. I've added sashing to the sides and the top, and I've added the two cornerstones. So this is the top corner of our quilt. And the next block is this one. This block can be either any way you want because it's all symmetrical. It's the same block no matter how you look at it. And I was looking at these the other day thinking these would look really neat in a, a diagonal set. So I think I'll set up a picture of these in a diagonal set and send it to you on the Facebook group. So this shows you how to lay them out. And so you can see how, how to position each of the half square triangles to make this design. So this is block two. This is block three. And basically it's two triangles that form a flying geese and then we put two of those together and so these point down these point to the left these point up and these point to the right and you can anytime you turn it it's going to look the same way so that's block number three here is block number four it's one of our first stars and this is an eight point star with a square on point in the center and then triangles in each corner. And finally block five. I've already put some sashing on this block so I can show you how to put it together. This is a herringbone design. And you can, if you want, put the herringbone to go this way. And it makes it a little bit more interesting. But otherwise the others are pretty much symmetrical. They can go e any way and still look the same. So what I'm going to show you next, I'm going to piece this first row and show you what that looks like. And here is the first row on the table. When I added the sashings, I pressed towards this little frame. Now I didn't want to go that way, but I was worried about shadowing, having the dark fabric shadow onto the light fabric. So I just made it go that way. So I, I pressed towards the dark fabric on all of them, the cornerstones and the sashing. And so this is block one. Here's block two, here's block three, and here is block four. And if you remember in the introduction when I talked about fabrics that didn't work, this was one that didn't work that I showed you that was a reject, but I had left some in the quilt. Now what we're going to do next, so this is row one, and then block number five, we had already put the sashing on the sides. Let me move this. 
So this block, go ahead and put your sashing on the side if you're doing each, each row as we go. And then next week when we get the blocks, the next blocks, what they will be six, seven, eight, and nine. So you'll have six, seven, and eight, and that will be a row. Then you can sew this row onto this row. So this will go like this. And then you'll, you'll have your next row. And you could, if you want, next time add, once you add that row, you can add your cornerstones and sashing down here. Now remember, if you have any questions, put your question in the comments below the video or in the Facebook group, The Quilt Makers Workshop. We'll see you next week.